Hi, I'm Sergeant Speaking with Earth Walker for a minute. I'm here with a piece of kit today to talk to you about, which is the uh, survival wire saw. Uh, it's a great thing to have in your kit. It's a very easy, small pack, and uh, I mean, they take up no space at all, period. Very little weight. Um, it's a great thing to have in your kit for a survival situation, survival experience, where you need to cut down some wood as opposed to carrying a, a regular saw or even to have as a backup. Um, I keep mine in a, another kit, in my uh, tactical kit that I keep in my uh, vest, my, uh, uh, my body armor, um, just because it doesn't take up any space and it's small and it's easy and I don't even know I'm carrying it, but I have it uh, just in case. Um, it's a great little saw. There are some drawbacks to it. Basically all this saw is is um, a few strands of wire twisted around itself and then those strands, individual strands, have a really, really uh, tiny strand of wire wrapped around it. So that's all it is, in a sense, is a braided wire. Um, the way you use it is simply by stick here. You're just holding it and dragging it across your uh, your wood to cut it. The only drawbacks to it is a lot of people will tend to bend it. You don't want to bend it. This is wire. When you are bending it as such, you're putting a lot more friction on it. It's going to kink a lot more and it's going to cause uh, this to break down and snap on you because it's heating up and that wire just can't handle that stress. Um, so we're going to go over something today. A uh, preferred way that I like to use these saws and uh, one way that I recommend is Excuse me, is to make this into a bow saw. Uh, what, what that'll do is um, it'll keep that saw straight so it's not bending and not kinking. Uh, it'll just be a lot more easy for you to use. You're not tying yourself out as much using both arms. Uh, you can get a longer stroke. And it's just a lot better way to cut. And now, uh, simply for the bow saw, what you're going to do is you're going to find yourself a, um, try to find a green flexible piece, piece of wood, branch. Now obviously, see what the the, the uh, season is right now. It's kind of hard to find green wood, but I did find one that still has some bend to it. And uh, what you want to do is you want to find one that's roughly about one and a half times the length of your your uh, wire saw. Uh, that way you have enough um, wood. If it's any shorter than that, you're not going to be able to have enough uh, to create this uh, bow saw effectively. So. Stick with me, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up, show you how I make this, and I'll be right back and continue on. Alright, what you can see we got here is, I got my uh, saw standing between two trees, and uh, took some 550 cord, and tied it onto the uh, the loops, the, the pull ring, and then um, pulled it tight between the two trees to hang it. And the reason you want to do this, one, it's easier to do this when you're working by yourself, you only have two hands. Um, gives you a platform to work on too. It's putting tension. It's making that saw, that uh, saw blade, as uh, tight and straight as you possibly can get it. So you really want to yank down and try to get this as, as tight as possible when you're doing this. To give it as as much tension as possible. And it just makes it a lot easier trying to do this. Now I found my piece. Like I said, this is going to it's about. I've already been bending it. So it's kind of shaped already. Um, it's over one and a half times the length of a, this, this uh, wire and um, started bending it to kind of work it into shape. Now on a thicker end, and you can see how thick piece I chose. It's not too, not as thick as I wanted down here, but what this will do. Um, the, uh, the thicker part, I went ahead and notched it about two, three inches up from the end. You don't want to do this right on the very end, but uh, it came down about maybe two inches and notched it. And uh, what that's going to do is that's going to fit into one of our loops, and then you can bring your other end in. Now there's two ways to do this. You can go ahead and notch both ends, and then bring this and notch it, and, and place it also in the notch. But like I said, this end is not that thick. If it was a little thicker, the same thickness as that, it'd be great. That worked perfectly fine. But because it's not as thick, we're going to do it a different way. Um, now you can see this is the direction of the bend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I already started working on it, I'm going to use the saw as it's hanging up and start sawing down a groove straight as possible and only as thick as the wire itself. I'm going to saw straight down into the wood. 
going the direction that the blade would be facing. Obviously, if it's bent this way, the blade's facing this way, so the cut is going to go that way. And you can probably imagine what I'm going to be doing with this. And I'm going to cut I know, but it goes dead center, straight down the center of that wood, so there's an even amount of wood on both sides, and I'm doing everything I can to make sure it's completely straight, and only as wide as that wire. You don't want to, you do not want to be cutting it, uh, this wider than that wire. down a little bit more. I want to say you need to go down about an inch and a half, two inches into this wood. We're going to keep on stalling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place that first ring in that notch, just move my 5 feet support out of the way, and bring this down, and not into the loop. Like I said, you could notch it into that loop, but I'm going to bring it down. If you see the way this is made, it's kind of got this um, uh, eye loop right here, holding it onto the ring, and it's got a clamp where it clamps down. The, the wire goes into the loop, comes around, loops around it, and then clamps it down. That clamp is pretty strong. It's not going to go nowhere. This loop, obviously, is not going to go nowhere. So what you're doing is you're just notching this. It'll slip out of my ring over here. Just placing that stick, the wire, right into that notch. And then the tension going to hold that in place. It's not going to go nowhere. And then once you got that one there, the tension is going to hold this, this saw in place. It's going to keep it straight. You go ahead and untie it. Sunning out today, but still cold. All right, like I said, this is why you want to make sure you got a real flexible piece. This one here, it should work. Might not last too long, but it'll definitely do the job. Now, like I said, you could just—I have this notch right here into that wood. If this was thicker, I could notch it just the same. Since it was thinner, I just went ahead and cut that groove. I'll come up in the camera. You can see I just cut a gr cut that groove in there and slip that wire down inside of it in between that little clamp and this hook. Now obviously this thing here is just a key ring. I want to take that off just so it's not dangling there being all noisy. That just easily slips right back on. But now I have a bow saw.
saw, I cut a couple small little branches, and then I cut a, a standing uh, a dead tree there. It's pretty hard wood. Um, works pretty well. Uh, they're definitely uh, making a bow saw out of this. Uh, um, it does take its time. I mean, there's a little piece of wire using a cut piece of wood. Um, it's not exactly a saw. But uh, by making this bow saw, it does keep it straight. Uh, it allows you to use longer strides, put more pressure. Um, I found that uh, starting off, it works great if you're down at the end. And then as you're getting through the wood, bringing it up closer to the top gives it a little bit more pressure. Uh, seems to be a little bit more tension. Uh, speeds it up a little bit. But you're not tying yourself out by using both arms. If you use one arm, you can switch. Uh, you can kind of get yourself in a better position and sitting there holding onto that wire and pulling it both ways. Um, definitely could have. Uh, uh, lengthen the life of this saw by making this bow saw rather than uh, trying to use it the conventional way and just wearing and tearing because uh, like I said all this is it's not even there's not even teeth on this you've never seen one before like I said all it is is about uh, I would say well, about three pieces of braided wire with uh, a little tiny micro wire wrapped all around it so that's all it is so anytime you're bending wire um, you know you put tension on it can break so that's just one easy way to make the, the saw more effective and into a bow saw and it's easy to break down when you're done pop it out you can either keep this stick or discard it or you can make yourself another one at your next location but you got your saw ready to pack away uh, easy light and ready to go well, I'm sorry to speak and I hope you enjoyed this video uh, catch you on the next one